this is part two of our uh, ready rock retaining wall that we're building here on a creek side it's monday morning we uh we got our concrete poured on friday we got a little bit of rain uh last night so there's some silt on top of it that's why it looks brown like that Corey's down there he's shoveling out all the uh, rock and loose material on top of the footing um, if you if you didn't see the first part of this I'll leave a link in the description and also a card up top uh, check that out you can see the excavation part um, how we built our coffer dam out there and um, and pouring the concrete in here all right our blocks just got here we're gonna start unloading these guys now these are the base blocks, so they're the big boys. These blocks are a lot of weight for this machine, to be honest with you. Um, it's a 20,000 pound machine. Well, actually, it's 18.5, I should say. It's an 18,500 pound machine. John Deere 85G. These blocks are, these blocks are 3,600 pounds a piece. It could pick them up, but when it gets, you know, when you reach out in front of you a good ways, it, it gets pretty tippy. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get the GoPro set up down there in the trench. Um, and we're going to start setting these bad boys. So this is the first time we've ever set these large base blocks. So it takes us a little bit to figure out the best configuration to rig the blocks with the chains and the straps. So Corey is able to, to spin them in place as I get it close to where they need to be. Um, then he ended up grabbing the shell bar there, you can see, and uh, using that to move it around. And then I just used the end of the machine, you know, when I need it to, to make small adjustments with it. Rather than picking the whole block up and moving it around. This is where we started curving the blocks. This is going to make the turn. Those first three blocks we put in were are straight. Um, and then this is where we're going to make our radius. All right, so we got our first row of block in. And just like any retaining wall, the bottom course is the most important. You want to make sure that they're, uh, they're level and they're lined up with each other. The way these Ready Rocks blocks work is you can see these bump outs here. The next row has the holes in the bottom, so they'll just sit on, sit right on top, and they'll be staggered. The joints will be staggered. And we have more than 12 inches of concrete in front. This is all, this is all concrete here. And same thing with the back. More than 12 inches in the back. Here we adjusted the last two blocks so the the turn wasn't quite as tight we had a little bit more space in the front of that footing so we slid them out you can see the gentleman that showed up there with the reflective vest that's actually the uh, town inspector you'll see him pop in and out a few times throughout this video Have two courses of block in there you can see we got a little bit of water behind it's a couple inches in there not that much we had to use half blocks on the end for the second row and we had a bit of rain last night so that's why it got so muddy over here but our creeks running pretty good on that side of the coffer dam and good thing we decided to pull the uh, that culvert pipe in that we had because I, I knew with the amount of rain we were getting, they were calling for one inch. I knew that pipe couldn't handle it. So we, we pulled it out, moved some sandbags around, and uh, you know everything handled pretty good. Like I said, other than a little bit of water in here, but it's, it's not that much. 
This is about our fourth lift. We're doing about four inches at a time. Then hitting it with the plate compactor. Another four inches hitting it with the plate compactor. And so on and so forth. We're gonna do that until we get to the tops of the back of these blocks. And then we'll start adding our next two courses. Corey's down there, he's sweeping off any rocks and you don't wanna sit it down. I mean, small stuff, these blocks are so heavy, it'll just, uh, it'll just crush it, but you don't want any big rocks. So there we go, that's four rows in. Don't mind the blocks, they're a little muddy. And down there, that looks like a gap. That's just black mulch on the bottom of them. They were sitting in the mulch out front. So four down, and what does that leave us with? Three more to go? Here we go, doing some more compaction. There's gonna be probably about six more lifts because we gotta get halfway up that second row of block with all modified and then that's where our drainage will start from there up it'll all be clean stone isn't that right Mike that's how professionals do it <laughs> now is we're starting to bring in some of our uh, reinforced backfill right here um, we're going to compact this in the same lifts as we did the modified the modified is up to the height it needs to be we're basically building like a berm here we're going to compact it as we go uh, and we're going to alternate materials um, what I mean by that is we got a dump truck load of the reinforced backfill after we get this up to I don't know, maybe 18 inches, two feet. Then we'll bring in a load of clean stone. And the clean stone is going right behind the wall. We'll get a thin layer down and then I'll put our drain pipe in. And then we'll continue filling this up with clean stone and building this up with reinforced backfill. We're, we're alternating between the two. So build a little here and build a little here, so on and so forth, all the way up. All right, so now we just put our drainage pipe in. That's a four inch perforated pipe. And now we're putting in our uh, three quarter clean stone. Now, if you guys seen any of my other retaining wall videos, you know I generally don't use filter fabric behind the wall. And the reason for that is 
Well, you can look at this soil, maybe you can tell from the photo, from this video, I should say. Um, it, we have a very high clay content. And what happens with the clay, it, it clogs the filter fabric and eventually pushes on the wall. So then you're probably asking, so why are you putting filter fabric today? The reason is because that reinforced soil we're putting in, that's gonna go right behind this filter fabric. That was that first little berm we built. And that soil has a lot of fines in it. And that is, we don't want that to migrate into the stone. So because of that, why we're putting the filter fabric. And also, this wall was designed by an engineer um, and he required the filter fabric. Right here we're getting our corner built this is where the wall is going to do a 90 and so we basically stagger the corner pieces back and forth you can see we here the level yes. all right so we got our drainage stone you saw we just added that lift now i folded the fabric up and we're going to get back to putting in our reinforced backfill we're going to build this berm up same deal then fold the fabric back again and more drainage stone behind did it in a time lapse but I don't think you'd be able to see it accurately that's it hook line sinker baby I guess it's not as good as you know guys picking up a lighter or a ping pong ball or whatever but I impressed myself with it There's our drainage stone. We brought it up a couple inches up that top course of block. And this is our fabric that runs all the way down and around the bottom. Uh, I folded it in, put a couple little staples in, and now I'm gonna take another piece of fabric and just cover this whole top piece with. Um, and then we'll be able to continue backfilling. Right, guys it's an exciting day this should be the last day here at the job you can see we got the yard graded up to the top of the wall and we're getting in our topsoil or we're bringing in our topsoil I should say then we'll use the machine the Bobcat to get it spread out we already brought in two loads you can see we did this whole area here all this area now we just basically got to work our way out of the yard here. Um, so I guess you guys set up, I'll do a short time lapse of, uh, of us doing some grading 
and then uh, I'll take you around so you can see the front of the wall, what that looks like. We put in some large river rocks down at the bottom of the wall, um, and then uh, at the corner where it curves. Uh, so I'll show you that in a minute. just got the yard graded out now we just got to come through and, and rake out some of these ruts from the machine um, I already spread the grass seed and I started putting the straw down over there we'll straw this whole area once once we get some of these ruts uh, raked out let me show you the wall what we have here this wall has a lip on it. It, it there's about it can take about five inches of soil on top of it and it's designed to have the grass grow right on top these ready rock blocks they don't have a cap So the grade is, is higher from the wall here than it is by the fence. So that's why we put some of these small, well, they're not exactly small. They're like 12 inch uh, river stones. And um, it's mixed in with some smaller river rock that they had out front. But there's a bunch of big river stone all throughout here. And we filled it in down here at the bottom too. And this will prevent, you know, further erosion in this area. So here it is. Like I said, we put all this river stone here to help with any erosion as this stream comes up. Um, this little bit of a bank here, we're not really too worried about, you know, some of that washing out. If it does, you know, these rocks will eventually settle a little bit and that'll just secure this bank here. So there's seven courses of a uh, of block here. You can see one, two, three, four, five. And then there's two courses buried on top of a concrete footer. And if you didn't see that first video, I'll put a link in the description and a card up top. Um, go ahead and check that out. We had to excavate this whole area. We dug down about five feet below this creek level. We had a coffer dam set up here and uh, we poured a concrete footing in there, 18 inches uh, thick. Well, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And also, if you're interested in building retaining walls, I have two other videos on how to build a retaining wall um, using a more, I would say, standard size retaining wall uh, block. More conventional, I should say. Not these big massive blocks here. But thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.